And Jordan, let's give it up to EU! EU, congratulations, man. Big victory. You've come here a long way, right? You you come from challengers where unfortunately you, you skipped, you couldn't make it to partnership. Now you've uh, you've joined 100 Thieves. You had a rocky start in the group stages, but here you are standing today, going to Shanghai and also making it to the grand finals of the mid-season playoffs. You have to be proud of this season. So talk to me, th talk me through about this season so far. I mean, I keep talking about it. We've been putting in hard work day after day. We were super focused on the process. We honestly don't care about the result. We practice super hard. We try to fix our mistakes. And then now it's taking us here. So we're at the grand finals. At least the results are good so far, right? But at least the results were labored going into G2 today. I'm not going to talk about Ascent because that was a schlacking for you guys. So let's just keep that aside. But Vine, you guys were basically coined the super team of Vine. But, you know, you lost that map against G2. A lot of teams couldn't even make it double digits. So what did G2 bring today to the table that really surprised you on that map of Vine? Uh, I'm not going to lie. I mean, after the first map, we kind of took our foot off the gas. Uh, you know, we're playing for like the grand finals, but we qualified to Shanghai already. We definitely still really want to win. But, you know, after winning the first map 13-5 and going on to our permanent win of Bind, I can 100% assure you we took our foot off the gas. We started coming back at the end of Split here. You know, you saw us get back into it, but it's all good. That's exactly it. Split, it was a different composition that came out as well. No Sentinels coming out for, G, uh, for G2. Was that also something that surprised you? Because, yes, you let the foot off the pedal, but you're also playing against something different this time around. So how did you have to bounce back? Because you had to fight really hard for that victory. Yeah, we thought they were going to run the Cypher with the yeah. Breach, considering that the Breach stun is like, I mean, it's pretty meta if you have a camera to stun off of and you have the setup so people can't lurk out A. They ran the Fade, so a lot of their exec power was pretty hard. Uh, we didn't expect it coming into the map, so it almost caught us off guard. We managed to claw it back in the end, though. Awesome. And final question for you. You know, yesterday we had Cells having a chance to talk to Dan Dried over on the Latinam broadcast saying, you know, like, because he's standing up on a chair, he's yelling, he's also supporting the team as well, saying, guys, let's go, and that's unheard of of Cryo. And he mentioned that it was a lot about Bustio uh, coming in as an IGL for the team. What does that mean for you as well? Because you were under the guidance of a great IGL in John Cutie over at M80. Now you have Bustio. What's what's the difference there and how do you feel in the team with Bustio? Yeah, I mean, Bustio and John QT share like similarities. They're both amazing callers in the game. I think one thing that Boosty does that no other IGL in this game can do is like the synergy that he brings. This guy just makes everyone around him confident. He puts everybody at ease. I mean, it's pretty insane. I'm not going to lie. Boosty's probably like the most valuable player in all of Valorant. So. Well, EU, thank you so much for your time. Congratulations once again. And hopefully those vibes from Boosty will carry you over to the Grand Finals victory. But one more time, let's give it up for EU, everybody. <laughs> One more series coming up here after the break. It's going to be Crew versus Leviathan for the last spot of Masters Shanghai.